guys, Cindy Otter here with My Artsy Endeavors. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. I just wanted to do a real quick flip through of my friend journal. Um, you guys heard in the last video, or if you haven't watched the videos, it used to be in the, um, the black clips that go through every hole. But I can't think of the name of the binding system. But it didn't work out well because I kept taking all these pages out to work on them. So it ended up in my three ring binder. Um, what the whole purpose of this friend journal was is actually a friend of mine had made a bunch of these pages and sent them to me in that disc bound journal. Well, um, what I thought about is they were just backgrounds and I thought, you know, I should take stuff that I've made, which is what I did, old tags and um, just odds and end pieces of art that I've made, like this house, and I decided to make pages out of them in my friend journal. So that's what I did. Um, so again, this is just kind of like a mod podge of things that I have made um, on the backgrounds that she had made and I had added more to and just had a lot of fun. So yeah, that's what this journal is. Again, it's in this three ring binder, which is where it's going to stay. It'll go up on my shelf. Um, this was not stuff I had made, but what this was is a, the friend that the backgrounds were. She sent me some napkins, and I love this pumpkin on there, so I decided to make a page for her. So this is just the fall colors. You know, I tore some things apart, other things I didn't. Um, for example, you know, this piece here was a regular piece. I just decided to make the background to go with it which is what I did. Um, this came off something else. You know, I had these were just different pieces that I put together. But this was a lot of fun. So um, what I found out is I make a lot of stuff, but I don't give it away. I don't sell it. I don't, you know, I don't send it anywhere because I don't have anybody to send it to. So, um, yeah, I just end up holding on all this stuff. It's in boxes and metal file cabinets and that kind of stuff. And I just decided I needed to get it out and do something else with it. So that's what I did. Um, this was a piece that I had made and I just made the page around it. Um, this was my little chick on her popsicle sticks. Made that a long time ago. So I figured it was time to put her in a book. Uh, this is a cluster or what I call like a an embellishment or... Um, I can't think of what the name is I want to call these, but I don't like the word cluster. I want to find something different. But anyways, that's what I had made. This was a little tag I had made. So I just kind of put this stuff together. Uh, focus on the good. Again, that was an artist tile that I had made. I'm not sure what's sticking here. This one here, this is a tag I had made, and I decided to, you know, just kind of make a background and do something with it. This, I didn't realize I was playing on these sheets. I was just playing with some watercolors. I was just messing around. And yeah, it ended up on the back of one of these sheets. So there's my little watercolor mess. Um, this guy, I like this page. He's cute. It says, I try to be a nice person, but sometimes my mouth doesn't cooperate. <laughs> no other comment on that. <laughs> Um, and then this one is just Hello Friend. This was a chick that was on another piece of art that I drew years ago. And, you know, one of my houses and just that kind of stuff. This was a little piece of just um, part of like a tag or something. And has this drywall tape and the backing of it. And I just had little bling on it. So I took that off, whatever it was on, and put it on here. Just little pieces. This is pieces off a background of something else. And then the last page, it says, dreams don't work unless you do. Um, again, the same thing. This was just hanging out, actually, in that box. So um, my box of goodies, so I just put that up there. This was from another project. These were from a different project. Um, same with the butterfly and her as well. And then this was from a project. So, yeah. Um, so I don't know if this is a good idea for you guys, if it's something, you know, you would like to do, but... You know, look at some of that art that you've created, and instead of just sitting it, um, you know, in boxes or whatever, think about using it to recreate something that's new, and that's what I did here. All right, if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, 
in the comments below and thank you guys so much for watching this series on to something different i hope you enjoyed and we'll chat with you all soon thanks bye